there's the leak, we found it. So I'm gonna drain pretty much the rest of this water. What's up guys, JJ here, and today we've got a big problem. Our pool pond right there has sprung a leak. Yeah, our pool pond's been leaking, it's been leaking for a few days, but now instead of losing like half an inch a day, I'm losing multiple inches a day. Last night it was full, and now it's almost halfway down. So we gotta figure out where the leak is and get it patched up. So this was totally full last night, and I've lost, um, I don't know, like four or five inches already. It's almost halfway down in a day, which is a problem. So I think I do know where the leak is because I'm seeing a little puddle right here. So the leakage is somewhere on this end. So what we're going to have to do is drain the rest of the water, at least most of it. Uh, we might have to scoop all the fish and we've got like hundreds of fish in here because all my fry, uh, once they get big enough, they've been growing out out here. So we have a lot of fish in there and I'm going to have to scoop most of those because when I drain it, I don't want them like falling out because there's no like strainer on the hole. and. Then we gotta find the leak and patch it up. All right, there's the leak, we found it. So I'm gonna drain pretty much the rest of this water cause I'm gonna need to be able to lift up the whole pool and we're gonna have to scoop almost all of the fish, I think. We're most of the way drained out, which is pretty cool cause I haven't seen all these fish in a while. Look, we've got a couple dozen lab cichlids and Pleco's getting big out here. He's taking care of the algae for us. Got this goldfish on accident, he's getting big. But really need to be able to see everybody. I can tell there's like an extra generation of jewel cichlids since the last time I could see, so that's neat. And there's our hole right there, so we're gonna get that patched up. We gotta put a tarp underneath so it doesn't happen again. Because I know how it happened, a blade of grass grew through there and then finally died off and stopped plugging the hole. But let's get to work. Okay, we got a tarp underneath this time for a little extra protection. Not gonna lie, that was not fun to do by myself. I am out of breath. But these fish have only been in like two inches of water for the last hour, so let's get this filled back up. The next day. Okay, pool pond's all filled back up, looking good. Um, it's holding water. So I'd say this was a success. Not something I ever want to do again, so hopefully we never have another hole. And <laughs> that's about it for me. Let's uh, feed these guys and see how they're doing. There we go. Alright, that's it for me guys. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.